billboards it. now. It's 2015, right? Yeah. Well, we think science guy Steve Spangler may have cracked the code. <laughs> He's standing by in Studio B with Tanya Hotman, who's brave enough to try out his no. hoverboard. Brave no. girl. No. What I like the most is your be. attitude. That's what I like the most. It's just absolutely perfect. This is the look of my wife right here. It's like, are we doing this again? Mm -hmm. Funny, not funny. That's I what it is. I practiced it. A you know, lot. it is it is science fair season, and um, one common mistake, uh, and we're going to talk more next week about science fair. Okay. But one common mistake is to make something like this and call it a science fair project because it's not. It's just a lot of fun with oh stuff from gosh. Home Depot. How old would you be? Uh, I know, okay. but you can turn it into a science fair project. Okay. So my sons uh, and I, we built three of these because we wanted to take a look at the different designs on the bottom and which one. So you can only change one variable, Everybody right? Everybody wants to be friends with your children. I, sure. There's, it all come out in counseling later. Okay. okay, so it'll be fine. So if you take a look at this, I yes. just I got a big board. Okay, yes. to the bottom of the big board, I got really heavy tarp. Yeah. And then I just and put the thick. holes in there, and this particular design seems to work well. And then the secret is that very center area. I just I found it again at uh, like in the plumbing aisle at okay. Home Depot. I guess it's for With a toilet. PVC? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Put it right there. Okay. All right. So there's that side. This side. So if you take a look at it, notice how I sandwiched it in here. So here's a piece of board, and here's another piece of board. So I sandwiched it in there. Of course, here comes the pipe because you can find everything in the plumbing aisle. And now here is your and this throne. Is, and this is Kyle Clark sanctioned patio furniture. Done. You see, yes. it's a, and, you, and okay. the snow is only this tall. Okay. So now here, watch what happens. If you blow air into here, then uh, the air is going to kind of come out and lift this whole thing up. And so that's what I'm using this for. Okay. okay? So this little guy is going to go in here like this, and I think we should be set. So I'm just going to lift it up the first time and see if this works. So, oh, here we go. Okay. Let her so in. notice how it lifts, but it's not going to weigh. It's not going to carry a lot. Like I can slide it to you. See, you can slide it back. It's pretty good. So the friction is very minimal. All right. All right. So now, what I want you to do is sit it's go on. time. It's okay. go time. It's go time. Okay. Oh, that you, oh that's lovely, good. That sounds it? fantastic. Okay, that's lovely. Okay. So I have no idea if the viewers can even hear us, but it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. You are such a light little thing. It'll, it's work. It's perfect. But I'm gonna crank you out. Bye, out of the Home Depot twice now because they just okay. said, you know, this is disruptive for the other customers. I can't imagine why. Yeah, it's better than shooting the geysers and, and the Diet Coke and everything else. Truly. So, so this... I like it better than things that fun. burn me. Or If I'm trying to get right. kids excited about STEM, science, technology, yes. engineering, math, great way to do it and a great way for us to be able to add some variables in and turn it into a real experiment. Thank you, Steve. You're a trooper. Thank you.